Hello, this is Maria from Math Mammoth and this is Mathy, my mascot. And in this lesson we are looking at number lines, how to use number lines to find elapsed time. So here's my time number line. So how does it work? We have five o'clock here and then six o'clock over there. And it's divided into four major parts. And one of the major parts is here. Well, what would, for example, this here be? That spot. Here's 5.15, here's 5.30. These little increments are five minutes each. So over here we have 5.20. And then what about this one? It's just five minutes before six o'clock, so that's 5.55. And then what about this one? Here we have 5.30. 5.35 and then just one minute more, so it's 5.36. And then let's say I put a dot over here. So we have it as one minute before this line. So what's that then? Here's 6, 6.05, 6.10, so it's 6.09, all right? And now we will use the number line to find the elapsed time between those two. How much time passes from 5.36 till 6.09? From here till here, that distance or interval, so to speak. So you can look at it as from here to here. This here is four minutes, right? Then we have five, five. 5, 5, that would be 20 minutes, till here would be 25 minutes, and then this last little bit is again 4. So what did I get? I got 25 and 4 and 4. So that's 33 minutes. Okay, here's our next exercise. We will find the elapsed time from 7.42 till 819 with a number line. This number line doesn't have all the possible tick marks, but it's still really helpful. Let's see. We can kind of like jump ahead on the number line from 742 till something, till 8 o'clock, till something, till 819. Or we could do this last jump as a bigger jump from 8 till 819. This 742 till some easy number first. Can you think of what that could be? Easy number? Yes, 750. Because now from 42 till 50 is 8 minutes. And then from 750 till the full hour is 10 minutes. And then the last one, we could use that one, that jump, and go from 8 till 810 as 10 minutes. Or think of it as 90 minutes here. Either way, there's 10 and there's 9. And so now we just add all these, and here's 20, and the 9 makes 17. You know your addition facts, right? 17 and 20? Yes, 37 minutes was the elapsed time. Let's take one more. Now, pause the video and think about this. How much time passes between these two times given here? Oh, Matthew's saying something. He thinks it's what? Evening snack time. Huh. You're just always hungry, aren't you? Yep. What do we get? What is the elapsed time from here till here, first of all? From 48 till 60 minutes, because the full hour is 60 minutes. Or you can go from 48 till 50 till 60. And you should get 12 minutes right there. And then from here to here, it's easy. It's 37 minutes. Okay. Add those. And we get 49 minutes. Okay. That was all. I hope it was helpful.